Hey guys, welcome to our channel Code is Arcade. This is Ashank David and in today's video, I am going to tell you about how you can install Apache Tomcat server in your system. So before we start installing guys, let me first tell you something about Apache Tomcat server. What is Apache Tomcat server and why it is used for? So basically, Apache Tomcat server is a free and open source implementation of Jakarta Servlet, Jakarta Servlet expression language and WebSocket technologies. Apache Tomcat server is just like a web container. It allows user to run Servlet and Java server pages that are based on web application. And also it can be used as an HTTP server. So guys, let us see how we can install Apache Tomcat server in our system. So for that, we have to first go to our web browser and in our web browser on Google, we have to search for Apache Tomcat. And once you search for that, it should come like this. And you have to click onto the very first link and the link is the official website, which is tomcat.apache.org. So I'm going to click onto this and this is going to take me to the official website of Apache Tomcat server. And on the left hand side, you can see there is this download section here. In this download section, we are going to click onto the Tomcat 10, which is one of the latest versions of Apache Tomcat server. Now, if you scroll down a little bit here, you can see that there are different files related to downloads. Now we have zip file, we have tar file, we have 32 bit windows zip file, we have 64 bit windows zip file, we have 32 slash 64 bit windows service installer. So guys, let me tell you about some of these files. So guys, if you want to install Apache Tomcat server manually in your system, then you can go for either 32-bit Windows zip or 64-bit Windows zip, depending upon what bit operating system you are using. Here in this video, we are installing it for Windows. So I'm going to either select these two options if I'm doing manually. But in this case, guys, if you don't want to install it manually and manually you don't have to configure it out, you can just opt for an easier version, which is just the installer. So installer guys, here is the setup wizard. So instead of downloading a zip file, it is going to download a setup file. So here you can see either 32 or 64 bit, both it supports, it is a Windows service installer. So I'm going to click onto this guys. And uh, in this video, we are going to install it through an installer. So it is asking me now where we need to save it. So I'm going to click onto my desktop and I'm going to save it there. I'm going to minimize it. And there you go. It is downloaded. Now, I have to start the installer. So for that, I'm going to double click onto this and I'm going to open it. And there you go, guys. And here comes the Apache Tomcat setup wizard. So this is the home window. And here I'm going to click on to next. And in the next window, we have a license agreement. So we have to click on to I agree. And after this, guys, we have this choose components window. So make sure guys that all your checkboxes are selected. So in this case, our host manager and examples also should be selected. If we talk about host manager, guys, host manager is going to install the Tomcat host manager administrative web application, which is going to give you administrative controls over your web applications. Then if we talk about examples, then examples will install all the servlets and GSP examples of web applications. So this, these two are very important guys. So make sure all of these are checked. Then you click on to next and in this screen, you have the configuration option. So you don't have to worry about any of these guys. This is by default, it is going to be like this. You can change the connector port if you want to. So in the local host, you will write 8080. Instead of that, if you want to change it to something else, you can use some other number also. But in my case, I'm going to keep it as default. You can also keep it as default, no problem. Then we have Windows service name, which is Tomcat 10. So guys, actually, this is going to show you how your server is going to be look like what will be the name of the server when it will be running in your system. So how you can check for this is Tomcat. So this name will come in there. So by this name, you can recognize that this is the Tomcat server. Now you can change it according to your style. But in my case, I'm not going to change it by default. I'm going to keep it like this. Next, 
you have to create a username and password. So in this username and password, make sure that you remember whatever you create from here because later on, when you use Apache Tomcat server, there it is going to ask you username and password, the same username and password you have to give there afterwards when you install it. So whatever username and password you're giving right here in this configuration window, make sure that it is remembered properly by you. So in this case, I'm gonna write admin and here I'm gonna create my password as well. So guys, make sure that you also remember the username and password that you are entering because later on it is going to be used. So guys, I'm gonna click on to next now and it has automatically found my JDK guys and here it is showing me the JDK path. So I'm gonna give that path and I'm not gonna change anything into this. If for you it is not recognizing, then manually you can click on to here and you can select where you have installed your JDK. So for me, it is already installed and it is already selected for you guys. Also, it should work like this, but if it is not, then you have to select it manually. Now I'm going to click on to next, nothing to do in this. And this is the actual install location, the destination folder where it is going to be installed in your system. So I'm going to keep it as the default one. You can choose whatever location you want to choose, but I'm going to keep it as default and then I'm going to click on to install. So the moment I click on to install guys, this is going to install Apache Tomcat server in my system. And here in the last finish window, it is asking me to run Apache Tomcat and show readme. So I'm not going to click on to show readme. Instead, I'm going to say run Apache Tomcat and then I'm going to finish. For you, if you don't want to run your Apache Tomcat server so early, you can just uncheck it. But let's see how it is working. So I'm going to run it and I'm going to click on to finish. And this is going to start Apache Tomcat server in my system. Now, once it is started, you can go back to your web browser and here you can just search for localhost colon space 8080. Guys, I told you that 8080 number, right? You will type localhost colon 8080 and press enter. So there you go. It opened and you can see that if you are seeing this, you have successfully installed Tomcat. Congratulations. And you can see that it is successfully installed in my system. So I can check for the server status. And guys, now it is asking me the username and password that I created. So admin was my username and password was this. I'm going to sign in and um, it is asking me to save it. Well, I'm not going to save it. And there you go. It shows me the server status. So you can see that Apache Tomcat server is running fine in my system. And there you go. This is how you install through a Windows installer, guys. So this is how you can install Apache Tomcat server in your system, guys. And I hope you have understood this video well. If you have any doubts related to how you can install Apache Tomcat server in your system, then comment us below in our comment section and we are going to solve your doubt as soon as possible, guys. And before we go, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel Code is Arcade and don't forget to press the bell icon so that you won't miss any future updates. So that's it for this video guys. This is Ashang David signing off. See you guys in the next one.